Yes, and it's the disease that either affects you or someone you know. It causes crippling pain for millions of Aussie women. And now there's a new drug offering fresh hope to sufferers. Pain is chronic. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible disease. You feel like you've been hit by a bus. It's an extremely personal and heartbreaking journey. I'd be lying if I said that it didn't get you down. But one that Elle and Anthony Watmo feel they need to share. If I can help another woman not having to go through this, that's huge. It was shortly after they became engaged four years ago that the couple began trying for a baby. Elle, a healthy 21-year-old, and Anthony, a fit NRL player. We're so young. Anthony's got two children. Everything should be OK. Over the next few years, the couple endured countless medical appointments. Eventually, at just 23, Elle began IVF. It's a whole process. You know, you're taking six to eight injections a day. You're on steroids. You're just an emotional roller coaster. Four healthy embryos were implanted. While three didn't take, one did. The couple was pregnant. But it wasn't to last. At just six weeks, Elle suffered a miscarriage. You just feel completely out of control and completely helpless. That's when she went in search of answers. I just went in to find out if anything was going on inside for, you know, to explain why we weren't fully pregnant. It was meant to be a one-hour operation, simple day surgery, and I came out six hours later. She was diagnosed with stage four endometriosis. Endometriosis, or endo, which it's commonly referred to, is a condition which affects a woman's reproductive organs. It occurs when the lining cells of the uterus begin to grow outside of it, causing internal inflammation and adhesions. More common than asthma and diabetes, it affects around 1 in 10 women and can leave them not only crippled in pain, but also infertile. Women with endometriosis will often have half the rate of fertility to women who don't. The pain can be constant or just at certain times of a woman's cycle, often radiating from the lower abdomen around the back and down the thighs. This pain is unbearable. It affects your day-to-day -day life. It affects your work. That's often due to the fact that there's inflammation inside of the pelvis and that responds to hormones. Associate Professor Jason Abbott is from Endometriosis Australia. He says while the painful condition is common, it's often misdiagnosed, with many mistaking it for irritable bowel syndrome. But if they have period pains that stop them in their tracks and happen over and over every single month, that's not normal. When it's at its worst, um, no pain relief helps. Danny Costa went undiagnosed for years. You don't want to get out of bed. You're in extreme agony. Um, a hot water bottle is your best friend. It wasn't until she was 20 when a doctor recognised the symptoms. That I had some severe, quite large cysts, the size of small oranges. I had eight of them. Since then, Danny has undergone five invasive surgeries to remove the growth. It has spread into my bowels, um, in, in and around other areas of my internal organs. If I don't fall pregnant within the next year, unfortunately, this next surgery will be a full hysterectomy. Sometimes painkillers just don't even touch the sides. Like Danny, 23-year-old Sylvia spent years in agony before being diagnosed. You can go from feeling fine one minute to just collapsing in a heap on the floor the next minute in just incredible agony. Having suffered through the pain since she was a teenager, Sylvia says she was often told the monthly pain she suffered was normal. We're made to think that it's normal. People, when they're experiencing pain, girls don't understand that it, there's something more sinister going on. I know I sometimes said to Syl, just get on with it. Take a Panadol and go to school. I feel terrible now. For Sylvia's mum, Leslie, her battle with endo has been difficult to watch. Now the pair has made it their mission to educate women on the conditions. When you get thousands and thousands of people like Sylvia suffering the same the same symptoms, the same pain, and nobody helping, and people actually crying out for help. Fortunately, in Sylvia's case, the condition was identified early, which has allowed her to have her eggs frozen, ensuring her future fertility. We're sick of people thinking we're con hypochondriacs, so people who don't believe us, that we're in pain. Since being first diagnosed, Sylvia and Leslie have fought hard, not only to raise awareness of the disease, but also help bring a new drug to manage symptoms to Australia. This particular drug um, has been known to reduce 
see flare-ups and inflammation. The drug known as Visane, which has been available to sufferers overseas for several years, will be released here in just a few weeks. The important thing about Visane becoming available in Australia is that it is another option for women. Over the years, Dr Natasha Andriadis has treated a number of women for the painful condition. She says while there is no known cure, there are ways to manage the pain. Women need to have long-term care and follow-up. That needs to be multidisciplinary and holistic. For Elle and Anthony though, the journey continues. While Elle has already had one surgery, it's likely she will have to undergo another before she can continue IVF. For now though, the 25-year-old has turned to natural treatments, including Chinese herbs, to try and manage the pain. It's difficult, like, you know, two years into marriage, we're really lucky that this has brought us closer than ever, um, and it's made us super strong. Today, Elle and Anthony remain positive that they will one day fall pregnant. She says she doesn't want sympathy, but instead to shed light on the condition and the heartbreak it can cause. The dull, achy, heavy feeling that you get is normal, but I don't believe that it should be stopping you from doing your day-to-day -day activities. Um, it shouldn't prevent you from going to work. It shouldn't have you on the couch in heaps of pain on Nurofen and Panadol every four hours. It shouldn't be that bad. So if it's that bad, go and get checked, seek an opinion and get it investigated. That's good advice. It's such a hard road for so many women. Let's hope Vizane is the answer. And for more details on that story, simply head to our website.